In the last video, I show you how to make this pop art collage. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate here in Photoshop and create a GIF out of it. By the way, if you want to check out that video, how to make this collage, I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. All right. So from the last video, this is where we left. And these are the layers. This is how they look. And I also going to rename them. For example, this is the grain. I also going to add here texture one. And we got a model layer here two times. So we're going to need to merge these. So I'm going to press and hold shift, select both right click and select convert smart object. It's very important to make every layer into smart object that you want to animate. And then we got this layer here that we're going to need to animate it separately. But first, we're going to create a smart object from this as well. Create smart object, rename. Now let's go to the lines, right click, convert smart object, right click on this also, convert smart object, rename them and rename the rest as well. Great. Perfect. So these are the layers. Now we're going to go to the windows and we're going to activate the timeline. Click on create a video timeline. And as you can see here, we got the layers, but it's like really narrow. So I got to go down here and pull from this handle, pull it all the way out somewhere here and I got to bring the work area down under one seconds and I got to pull even more because we're going to need to bring it to 16 frames the work area. So I'm going to bring the work area here to 16 frames and we're going to split this at eight frames. So we're going to need to split a couple of layers. For example, the model press and hold control and I'm going to select the stroke that we created. I also going to press and hold control and select these lines. And pretty much these are it. And let's go ahead and click on split. By the way, before we animate, we're going to need to decrease the size of the image. So I'm going to go to image, image size. And for example, I'm going to downscale it to 1600. Now, of course, you're going to need to do it even more under 800, for example. But for reference, I'm going to do it like this. Click OK. Now let's bring this here, select the first model, which is on the left, press Control T, and we're going to need to rotate this. So I'm going to rotate it something like uh, at the left, double click release. And let's go here to the other side of the work area where you can find the second model selected, press Control T, and we're going to rotate it into the opposite direction on the right, double click release. So if you bring it back, click on play, it is going to do this. We also can add some really cool circles made out of lines. So let's go and select the rectangle marquee tool. I'm going to create a line like this. Let's go and create a new layer. And now I'm going to go and select a yellow color. Click OK, press Alt plus Backspace. So it's going to fill it in, press Control D. So this is how we got the line. Press and hold Alt to drag it down. Also press Shift to isolate. I'm going to bring it somewhere here and press Control J on this layer a lot of times until we're going to have a lot of layers going on. And now we're going to scroll down here, press and hold Shift, go all the way to the bottom layer, select every layer, go to the align and distribute vertically. There you go. Right click on the layers, convert to smart object. Let's go and select the circle. Press and hold shift and create a circle on this and go down and mask it and right click convert a smart object again and also make sure to bring this layer right here and now you can split it and animate it. And this is how it looks. If you want to learn how to export the GIF, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check that video as well. And this was it. Thanks for watching.